Hey guys, welcome to Blog Tip Tuesday, where I share helpful blog tips every Tuesday. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you do and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on a tip. Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about how to do keyword research on Pinterest in 2020. Pinterest is constantly changing, so the way I used to find keywords has changed. So I'm going to show you three little hacks I use to find keywords. But really quickly, with the new Pinterest update, I keep getting asked, where do you go to to create a new pin or a board? So really quickly, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so this is my Pinterest account right here. I'm gonna cover over to my face right here in the right-hand corner. And then I'm gonna go to my account to show you guys how to get to your, to create a new pin or board. So now that I'm on my profile right here, I wanna go over here to save. And if you see right here, and this, there's a, at the lower hand corner of your my screen, there's a plus sign. And if you just hit that, this is where you go to create a new pin or a board. So there you guys go for those who have been looking for that. Okay, so if you watch my videos on how to create a pin, that will partially help you do well on pinches because what's the sense of creating a great looking pin if no one can see it, right? So that's why you need to learn how to find out what keywords to put in your pins and in your board so your pins will get found. So when I talk about the keywords in your boards, this is what I mean. So for an example, this is my board on stay-at-home mom jobs. So these are the keywords that I put in my board, stay-at-home mom jobs. So that obviously you can see right here, stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home mom jobs, mom jobs, online jobs for moms, blah, 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 blah. That is where I put all my keywords that are related to stay at home mom jobs. And I've used, I found these keywords on Pinterest from different avenues, which I'm gonna show you how I do that today. So for example, let me show you the first way that I would normally go about putting keywords into my boards and how I find them. So right here, if you click over here, this magnifying glass, I'm just gonna use the Pinterest autocomplete. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in stay and then I see right here, stay at home mom schedule. So basically what I'm doing right here, Pinterest is a website that is trying to be as user friendly as possible. So they're trying to get your answer as quickly as possible. So that is why they have this autocomplete feature to try and figure out what you're searching for based off of other popular searches. So if I'm just putting in stay, they're already kind of think that I'm not even talking about stay gold BTS, stay strong, blah, blah, blah. But down here you see stay at home schedule. So if I just keep going in to stay at, you see a lot more stay at home things. So stay at home mom schedule must be something that more people are looking up on Pinterest. So I use this as one of my tools to find out what keywords I should put in my boards that people are searching for. So that's number one. The second way I use is I go to uh, my search fun function right here. And actually I've, only been able to find this on my phone recently with all the new Pinterest updates. So let me show you how it looks on my phone. Okay, so right here you can see my phone right here. I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass right here. And then for example, I'm just gonna show you one of the related searches here is DIY fall decor. So I'm just gonna click on this to give you an example of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna scroll down because what I'm trying to see is what are some other related searches to DIY fall decor that people are already searching for that I may not have thought of. So if you scroll down here, you see where it says shop similar. I don't want to shop similar. I'm looking for related searches. So I'm going to continue to scroll down because while I'm scrolling down, Pinterest is saying, oh, she hasn't found what she's looking for yet. Let me try and help her. So if I keep scrolling down, this is where you see it says related searches. So people are also searching for a fall crafts DIY, fall decor ideas for the home. So these are giving me more examples that I could put in regards to DIY fall decor. So if I have a board called DIY fall decor, I'm going to also include fall crafts, crafts DIY, fall decor ideas for the home, outside fall decor, because these are all related searches. So whenever I'm putting pins into my DIY fall decor board, this will also be shown to people who are looking up fall crafts DIY, fall decor ideas for the home, and et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully this is making a little sense in how I find keywords for my boards. There's another little trick that I will show you on the computer that some people have found helpful. Okay, so if I go over to ads right here, and then I go to create campaign, 
this is just another way you can find some keywords that people are searching for. So I'm gonna cancel this just to show you guys a new way what I'm doing. So once I go over here to scroll down, so I don't do anything here. I'm just showing you an example how to find other keywords if you want to just go deeper. I don't use this way, but I'm, I just wanna make sure that you guys are aware of this way because if I want to look for more keywords, I would go this route, but I typically just show you the, do the first two ways that I've shown you. But if you just see this right here, you just scroll all the way down here to the bottom. And when you see where it says extend your reach, so I will put in some, uh, let's see, like Christmas or something like that, because Christmas is coming up. So they are giving me other related searches when it, in regards to Christmas. So here you see it's Christmas ideas, people are looking up Christmas decorations, Christmas cookies, decorating for Christmas, and tons of other things like this. So this is yet another way to find keywords for Pinterest. So that is how I do keyword research on Pinterest. And really quickly, I do wanna show you this other tip on how I pin my pins manually to other boards. So I'm gonna go back to my page right here. I'm gonna leave this page. I'm gonna go over here to where it says Pinterest business, and I'm gonna to go to my home feed. So the way things have changed with Pinterest, um, basically just Pinterest continues to change. So I have to continue to adapt with it because this is one of my, um, top ways that I get traffic to my website. So I, even though Pinterest is so frustrating, I have to stick with it because it's such a great way to get easy, free traffic to my website. So I'm willing to roll with the punches, punches every single time that they make these changes because of how I make income on my website. So I just have to figure it out and roll with the punches. So another tip on how I manually pin my pins to my board is by just simply going down the home feed and just scrolling down to try and find one of the pins because I don't know if you guys ever noticed if you go down your home feed you'll see your own pins on there well that's how I've been able to repin my own pins so let me try and find a pin of mine okay so here's my pin right here so this is one of my pins right here how I make money proofreading so as you can see if you scroll down here this was saved to Mike and Laura travel they saved it to their save money make money for travel so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin this pin that Mike pinned to his board to another board of mine so it looks like I'm not pinning my own pin, I'm pinning a pin from Mike. And I'm just gonna go ahead right now and save this to my work from home ideas board. It's one of my top boards. And that is just another way that when I'm just doing nothing, sitting on the couch, I'll just scroll down the uh, my Pinterest home feed and I'm gonna see if I can find any of my own pins, which you, will happen very often, especially as, as many pins I have out there. And you may see the same thing. So that is how I pin my own pins to my boards, but I do it from other people's accounts. So I hope that all makes sense. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you for joining us for Blog Tip Tuesday, and I will see you guys next week.